This video was brought to you by the Mega Constructs Domain, our brand new Facebook group and the center stage of all Mega Constructs collecting in the galaxy. Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to the Domain. Now would you look at what we have in front of us, this is a real treat today, the Skiff Intercept in all its glory. Now this is part two, part one is the speed build of this vehicle and you can check back yesterday for that video. And I overlaid some Halo Infinite audio and dialogue from it, it was really fun. Today folks, we will be asking, should you buy the Skiff Intercept? That's the big question today and we're going to answer it in as much detail as possible. And whew, it looks, it looks pretty good. We're gonna talk about everything that works, which is 99%, and a couple of things that don't work for me. One thing that does work is these figures, which is what we'll start off today with. Look at these, they are phenomenal. We've got two Brutes, a Grunt, and the brand new Spartan Mark VII. Just look at this guy, he is amazing. Now I, you know, the Mark VII came out in the Halo Hero Series 12, and I think it's okay. I'm not quite sure what didn't work for me, but the red helmet, red arm, it just wasn't my cup of tea. But this, this is gorgeous. I mean, Halo is metallic green, okay? And this is like the definition of the brand new wave of Spartans in this metallic green color. I think it looks amazing. It's got beautiful black highlights all around it and this standout bronze visor. And then it comes with the brand new Bulldog shotgun, the same as the Halo Hero Series 12. And yes, it's not painted, but Mega Constructs has never included painted weapons in any of their vehicle sets. And yeah, this, I mean, this is, this is a fantastic figure. This figure more than any gets me excited for Halo Infinite. It's one of my favorite Halo Infinite figures that they've made so far. And that's the only UNSC figure we get. We've got this Grunt as well. This Grunt is pretty much the exact same as the Combat Evolved Grunt. And I wonder what came first, you know? Did Mega Constructs know that the Halo Infinite art style was gonna be similar to Combat Evolved? Because they released all their Combat Evolved figures and then just released them in Halo Infinite. I mean, maybe they just bear such a similar resemblance that Mega Constructs thought they could get away with just including this one in the Halo Infinite sets as well. And I love him. This Grunt's name is Davide. He's joining the roster of all of my different Grunts. They all have names. And then we've got these two Brutes. Now I've got a couple of things to say about these Brutes. They do actually have quite a lot of different colors throughout their armor and their base coat. People are annoyed because Mega Constructs has only included one leg piece per Brute and one shoulder piece per Brute. So that's like, it's a bit of a cop out, but I also get the idea that the Banished are scavengers and they're just sort of making do with whatever armor they can find. So, you know, you guys have got to share, but I know that some people are a little upset about it. I really do like these Brutes a lot. I think that their armor, the different colors, like this brown really complements them, really makes the silver pop. And also, you know me, these come, oh, oh no, no, I just decapitated him. I'm so sorry, Mr. Brute. Ah, come on, come on, there we go. There he is, there's my baby, there's my baby boy. Oh, look at him. Sorry about the decapitation there, Craig. But they come with Craig the Brute heads, and for some reason, I don't know if Mega Blocks knew that this was the set that I was going to buy, look what they came with. This set comes with a lot of extra pieces, but number one is, this set, for whatever reason, call it Divine Intervention, came with two more Craig heads. Just two extra Craig heads in a bag. I don't even know why. It was such a strange thing. So, we're going all out with the Craigs today, ladies and gentlemen. Craigs everywhere. This is a Craig review now. <laughs> oh no, oh no, this is cursed. Oh no, this is cursed, I shouldn't have done this. Once people see this, this opens up a never-ending stream of Craig head swaps. Oh no, that is that is truly a cursed picture right there. Oh dear, burn it with fire. Okay, so the, the figures, I mean the figures I am so impressed with. They are really, really nice figures. And Mega Constructs, you know, it's pretty generous including four in the set. It's not too bad, but we've got to move on and we've got to talk about this Skiff Intercept, which you know, there are a lot of things to say about it. A lot of good and a lot of, well, not a lot of, a few bad things. Only a few bad things. Here we go, the Skiff 
Intercept. Sadly, Halo has confirmed that this is not a drivable vehicle in Halo Infinite, which seems like a complete waste. I would never, ever like to see a vehicle in Halo that I can't just get in and drive. Halo's meant to be a sandbox. Okay, so, first of all, it's a sleek design, and the number one concern I have, or sort of complaint, is it's too empty. Like, there's too much empty space. There's nothing going on inside here. And this is like, it, it feels like a skeletal design. It still rings some of the same bells as the Prowler from Halo 3, but it, it feels empty. Like, look at all this just weird space that there's just nothing going on. That's my main concern, that's my main complaint. And yeah, even like this drum, yes, you can position someone inside and it's pretty cool, but it still feels like they're just sitting in a drum, you know? Like it's not, it's not fleshed out. But the control panel at the back is one of the nicest I've seen. Mega Blocks do seem to be making the seats in these sets like more ergonomical for the figures. There's a lot of posability you can do in this seat. It's nice that it moves on two different joints so you can adjust it for any kind of character and he looks like he absolutely belongs in that thing. The turret here, I mean, it does fire. Oy. And there are spare bullets. You know, some people don't like the firing. I like it. It looks like there's plasma coming out of it, so I don't mind it at all. There is nowhere for the brute to hold, though. He can sort of, like, put his hand on this awkwardly, but it's not, you know, it's not made for him, clearly. And then let's talk about... Oh, huh, hello. And then we'll talk about the rest of the design. So, it's got a lot of these sort of translucent, transparent pieces that make it appear like it's hovering. Mega Bloks have always done a good job with that. And then it's also incorporating this design at the back. There are actually gears that run through this thing, and when you turn this, you can turn the turret, so you can send Craig into a little spinning frenzy. And that is nice, that is a really nice feature. I love that for playability. Other design elements I like, I love these exhaust pipes that run through, I like these bars that run on the top. There's lots of different pieces that make it feel like a living, breathing machine. Especially these grills at the front. And everything is curved off nicely. But then you end up with like weird pieces like this. This looks like it's missing something. This looks like there's pieces missing. There are some elements that look a bit bare. But for the price point and for really the posability, like you can, you can put a hundred Craigs in here. Like there is a lot of space and it is very nice in that regard. Obviously, it is fully printed detailing. There are no stickers anymore. Thank the Mega Bloks gods. You do get a generous amount of weapons with this as well. One of the Craigs comes with two weapons, including that new plasma arcing weapon that we don't know what it is yet. So the question today was, should you buy the Skiff Intercept? I would say absolutely yes. Oh, <laughs> And we're about to demonstrate especially why you should buy this, because you don't just get the Skiff Intercept when you buy this set. You get the two-in-one feature, baby. And this is why I'm excited about this set the most. This two-in-one looks insane. Some of them look like, you know, Mega Bloks just used whatever pieces they had, but this one looks awesome. So we're going to build it right now. My, look at this thing. Okay, this surprised me a lot. I don't know, I thought it would be more menacing. It's really cute. I mean, like, in the best way. It looks epic. It looks like some kind of Terminator Genesis slash the last Matrix. Like, it's some kind of technological beast. I think this should just be straight up Cortana's Promethean. Like, it looks so Promethean. And look how nicely that folds back. Let's stick Craig straight in there. I thought based on the pictures and how Mega Construct's website handles this, that you could only build either the spider or the turret, but it looks like we're gonna have enough pieces to build all of them at once, which would be so cool. There he is, little Craig. Look at him. Little Craig just hanging out in his... <laughs> Are you enjoying it in there, bud? He sure looks happy. This thing, this thing is badass, honestly. I am very impressed with this thing. You can make some excellent stop motions. Very much credit to Mega Constructs for building this thing with the spare pieces from the skiff. Like, this one looks like the intentional build, but if you look at something like the Banshee, 
The Banshee alternate build is, uh, it's pretty bad. It's clearly not what Mega Constructs had in mind. They wanted to build the Banshee and then they built something else with the spare pieces. This looks like it is one in the same build. And wow, what a fantastic thing to have a set and then when you get bored of it, you just build a new set. You build, just build another one. Again, it uses the translucent, transparent, like beams at the bottom very nicely. Its turrets are really movable. I, the whole thing is just awesome. So I have so many pieces left, I assume I'm gonna be able to build the base as well. Let's get to it. What the heck is going on here, guys? What on earth is going on here? Okay, I started this, like, the Skiff Intercept, it's it's a good set. Definitely, it's above average set. It's very good for the money, especially all the figures. But there are some complaints. It feels like a bit of a skeleton. But this is awesome. What happened here? Where, where did these come from? Like, Mega Constructs have just decided to do this two-in-one feature on their builds. And some of them I'm skeptical of. Some of them I won't bother building unless I'm reviewing them for you guys. But this, this is awesome. I could say without a doubt that the number one thing that people have asked for from Mega Constructs since they started with Mega Blocks is turrets and buildable defense structures. And this thing opens up to so many play options, it's unreal. You can fill out all of your Craig fantasies right here. They, they are the things of nightmares. I, I really shouldn't have done that. Um, but seriously, this is such an awesome build. And I had a ton of fun making it as well. It has a bit of life to it. This is sort of like some kind of engine that's powering the turret. And again, they've utilized this turning feature on the turret, which is awesome. Guys, the Mega Constructs, you, you have done a really good job with this. I'm really, really impressed with this two-in-one build. So, the question of today's video was, should you buy the Skiff Intercept? At first I said yes, because of the figures, and the Skiff is a pretty cool vehicle. Now I say absolutely yes. In your free time, if you get bored of the Skiff, you can just build this in an afternoon, and then you've got a whole different diorama. So let me know in the description below, do you like these reviews better? Or do you like the ones where I'm going around Hong Kong? Thank you as always for the support. Travel Blocks episode 4 is coming out as my next video. And please, if you haven't already, check out my Patreon. It is an awesome place to be and I'm posting a load of in-depth updates and different behind the scenes there. I'm also going to have so many other perks available as well. Let's see if the turret can sign off the video by firing at the camera. Whoa! Yeah, this was another review with The Domain. The Skiff Intercept is an awesome entry-level price point to build your banished army, and I would strongly recommend you go out and buy one right now. <laughs> you can army build your Craigs. Oh, so strange. This should not happen. This this should never happen again. Alright, signing off with the spider. Dun-dun-dun-dun-dun.